Hey peeps, what's up Manji here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can root your Google Pixel devices which are running Android 14 without access to a custom recovery. Now do note you will need access to a computer and of course you will need an unlocked bootloader. Unlocking the bootloader is going to result in a factory reset of the device so before you unlock the bootloader make sure you have a backup of all the data and important things on your device. How do you unlock the bootloader? Video for that can be found in the description of this video next thing i recommend you do is make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do the process if your battery is at 10 or 20 percent or about to die next up root your android 14 devices when you have some time because you need to be doing this when you have peace of mind and you're not in a hurry then will routing cause your device to have data loss the answer to that is no only unlocking the bootloader causes data loss routing your pixels or any other device running android 14 will not result in data loss next up as always i'm not responsible for any bricked devices you're doing this at your own risk and of course you should know how to flash the stock factory firmware on your device in case you run into any issues however if you follow this video and you run into any issues you can always flash the stock boot image or the init underscore boot image for your device which i will show you in this video and you should be back to normal and before i forget i will be doing this on a mac but if you're doing this on a windows computer you will need drivers for adb and fastboot and how do you get those drivers how do you install that all of that can be found in the description of the video along with all the links all the applications everything which we're using in this video is linked in the description of this video so we are on our google pixel here which is running android 14 we will go to the google play store and here and you need to search for any application which will let you install apks and unzip files i am using fx file explorer you can use any application which you want to so i'm going to install fx file explorer now once fx file explorer has installed successfully the next thing we need is we need magisk so the link to get magisk is in the description of this video and i do recommend that you get it from the official github repository of magisk you will land on a page like this this is the releases section and at the time of recording this video the latest release of magisk is version 26.3 Three, you need to expand the assets section if it is not already expanded by tapping on the arrow besides A and we need the Magisk APK. We do not need the source code, we just need the Magisk APK. So we're going to select that and that is going to download that file. Other than this, we also need the latest factory image of our current Android version. So in my case, on my Google Pixel 7 right now, I am running Android 14 QPR Beta 2. And if you go to Google's official page, you will land up on a page like this. And herein, you have the Android 14 full images for your Google Pixel devices. That is what you need. You need the full image. You do not need the OTA. You need the full factory image for Nexus and Pixel devices. Make sure you select your device from the right hand side or if you are using your smartphone you might have to use this drop down over here which says on this page and here and you can select your device if you are running the stable build of android 14 you have to go to the stable page if you are running the android 14 qpr betas you have to go to the beta page again links for all of those can be found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we need to install for starters magisk so we're going to open our file manager which we have downloaded we're going to say accept do you want it to send you notifications a personal preference do you want the seven day pro trial i don't want it so i uncheck that option and select okay so now fx wants access to files and photos so we're going to say enable access select our application fx and give it access to manage all the files because we want it to unzip files and also install apks so this here is the main page of fx file manager we will go into our main storage and then if you go into the download folder that is where you should have your magisk apk and if you downloaded the full factory image for your google pixel on your phone it will be 
in the download folder as well so for starters let us select magisk apk and we're going to say let fx file manager install applications on my google pixel and we are going to install the magisk apk let us go ahead and open our magisk which we have just installed and you are going to notice that it will tell me hey i want to send you notifications again a personal preference i'm going to say don't allow now herein you will notice that magisk says not installed this means that my device is not rooted then the app version is what we just installed so you just installing the app did not actually root your device next thing is we need to unzip our factory image so let me go back to fx file manager we are in the downloads page i'm going to press and hold on the factory image for the google pixel 7 which we have just downloaded once it is highlighted and selected tap on the three dots on the top right and here and we're going to say open with on the next screen we're going to say archive extractor and this is the content of this zip file and on the top right we have the three dots one more time and we're going to say extract here so at this point it is extracting the file now do note there is another zip file in here which we need to unzip but in your case let us say you get a payload dot bin inside this file then you have to unpack that payload dot bin to get the boot image or the init boot whatever we are looking for and how do you unpack your payload dot bin we have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video so here it is at this point i have successfully unzipped this file we have a folder i will go in there we have another folder go in here now you can see i do not have any boot.img or init boot because that is present inside this zip file so i'm going to select this zip file next and repeat the same process three dots on the top right we're going to say open with then we're going to select archive extractor and this time around you will notice i should have the boot.img and i also have init underscore boot.img so for starters let us go ahead and tap on the three dots on the top right and say extract here and at this point it is extracting the files which has the files or the image files which we actually need to patch all right so that zip file was extracted successfully we have another folder and in here we have boot.img and we have init underscore boot.img now this here is the google pixel 7 so from xda forums i know that i have to patch the init underscore boot.img if your device does not have init underscore boot.img let us say you have the pixel 5 the pixel 2 the pixel 6 the pixel 6 pro those do not have init underscore boot.img so in that case you will have to patch the boot.img now in case you have a device which has both and you are not sure you will have to do some manual research go to telegram channels go to your xca developers reddit and therein someone would have had the same issue as you that is their device has both boot.img and init underscore boot and you do not know which one to patch so that is where you will get your answer next up we need to patch the file so we're going to open magisk and on this section over here where it says magisk you have the option of install we're going to select install then we're going to say select and patch a file now this is our file manager and we need to select in my case the google pixel 7 we need to look for that init underscore boot file so we're going to select the three bar hamburger menu on the top left and go into your device's name in this case it is the google pixel 7 that is what i'm going to select then you know you had your factory image in download so here it is this is the download folder this is the folder this is another folder inside this we should have another folder i know we have a lot of folders but it is what it is so this is the folder and herein in my specific case i need to patch init underscore boot if your device does not have init underscore boot then you definitely have to patch the boot.img so i'm going to select init underscore boot in my case and then i'm going to say let's go at this point it is patching the init underscore boot file and it has placed it in the download folder so now if i go into my fx file manager and i go into my internal storage i should have the patched boot image in my download folder so here it is this is the download folder and this here is the magisk patched init underscore boot 
image if you patched the boot image it will still be given a similar name you just have to know which image you patched whether you patched init underscore boot or you patched the boot image now this image file you need to transfer to your computer and I do recommend that you transfer the stock boot or init underscore boot image as well. Whatever you had patched in case you run into any issues, you can always flash your stock init underscore boot or boot image and then go back to stock or be unrooted without having to flash the full factory image. So now for the next steps, we will move over to the computer. So here it is, we are on the computer now. Once you're on the computer, you need your latest ADB and fastboot and this is where you need to get it from. developer.android.com slash tools slash releases slash platform tools and I am doing this on a Mac so I will download SDK platform tools for Mac. If you're doing it on Windows, download it for Windows similarly for linux now do note if you are on windows you will have to install the drivers for adb and fastboot and how do you do that video for that can be found in the description of this video so here it is this is the folder wherein i have my platform tools which has adb and fastboot then i also connected my pixel 7 to the computer transferred the files over here so this here is the magisk patched init underscore boot and this here is the stock init underscore boot in your case you might have the stock boot dot img next up we are going to unzip this platform tools and once that is done if i go inside this folder i have adb over here and i also have fast boot over here next thing you need to do is you need to connect your phone to the computer by booting it into fast boot mode or bootloader mode the process is different for different devices for a google pixel all you need to do is restart your device so you swipe down twice on your status bar you will get the power button you select reboot as soon as the screen goes black you press and hold volume down and you will boot into fast boot or bootloader mode once that is done go ahead and connect your device to the computer using a usb type c cable next thing we need to do is mac and linux users need to open terminal in this platform tools folder so for me on my mac i right click on the folder i say new terminal add folder if you are running windows all you have to do is go inside the folder then tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted and selected then delete everything type in cmd press the enter key and that is going to open command prompt in this platform tools folder so for mac and linux users if i do pwd over here it is telling me the current or the present working directory and if i do ls space hyphen al i'm getting the contents so as you can see i have adb and i have fastboot similarly if you're using command prompt you can type dir space slash p that is also going to show you the contents of your folder the first command which we're going to type in over here is to check whether our pixel 7 over here is being detected in fastboot mode or not and the command for that is fastboot space devices mag and linux users do need Need to enter dot slash before the command and then if i press enter bam there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode next thing we need to do is we need to flash our patched boot image or init underscore boot whatever you had patched so the command for that is fast boot space flash space if you patched the boot image you will type in boot if you patched init underscore boot you will type in init underscore boot space and then all you need to do is drag and drop your patched boot image or the patched in it underscore boot image that is it then you can press the right arrow key on the keyboard so this here is our command in my case i'm doing it on the pixel 7 i patched the in it underscore boot so that is what i am using if you patched boot you will replace in it underscore boot with boot and then all you need to do is press the enter key and bam there it is you can see it is telling me sending in it underscore boot underscore a in your case it might be in it underscore boot underscore b or if you patched boot image it will be boot underscore a or boot underscore b and as you can see everything finished successfully next thing all you need to do is reboot your device and the command for that is fast boot space reboot and then we're going to press the enter key as soon as we do that our device over here the google pixel 7 is going to reboot now at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer 
So here it is, we have booted back into Android and let me unlock our device. We will go into Magisk and this time around you can see it is not telling me Magisk is not installed. It is telling me Magisk is installed, version is 26.3. This means I have successfully routed my Google Pixel 7 over here which is running Android 14. Now let us say in case your device does not reboot, you're stuck in a boot loop, what do you do? Then in that case, you will first have to boot your phone back into fast boot mode. So if you're in a boot loop, just press and hold power and volume down till you see fast boot mode, then connect it to the computer. And then you need to flash your stock in it underscore boot or boot image. So you'll do fast boot flash. In my case, I will do in it underscore boot and then drag and drop the stock in it underscore boot or boot image and then press the enter key once that is done go ahead and do fast boot reboot and you should be back into your android operating system which is android 14 of course you would be unrooted and then you'll have to do some due diligence and research as to why the routing process failed for you but this is the process which i have been using to root my pixel devices my poco devices the oneplus devices this is the process which has worked absolutely fine and there it is peeps that is how you root your pixels which is running android 14.